Suppose a good mutual fund has seen its share price rise by the following percentages during each of the last six years. 12%, 15%, 20%, 15%, 23%, and 35%. Find the average annual gain over the last six years, and we'll use the geometric mean. The geometric mean is equal to the nth root this is the notation for the nth root as opposed to the square root. This is the nth root, and it'll be the sixth root in our example, of the numbers in question, of the product of the numbers in question. x sub 1 times x sub 2, dot, 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 times the last one, x sub n. And here, again, we have six numbers. Our numbers in this example are actually going to be one point one two and one point one five and the reason for this is because let's take a look at the twelve percent for example we have a twelve percent gain so that's a hundred percent of the original plus twelve percent of the original so that's one hundred twelve percent of the the original or of the previous year so that is actually the number that we're looking at when you when you see these percent growths you wouldn't like if uh, someone something were a hundred dollars and it increased by twelve percent you wouldn't say it was just twelve dollars you would say it was the the new amount was one hundred twelve dollars so one hundred twelve percent of of the previous okay so we will use these decimals. So I will put down the geometric mean, abbreviated GM, is the sixth root, because we have six numbers here, the sixth root of the product, 1.12 times 1.15 times 1.20 times 1.15 times... 1.23 times 1.35. All right, the sixth root of that entire product. And this sixth root can also be written as a rational exponent. So the product of all of these raised to the one-sixth power. So I'll write the product of those. That's 2.9514 one four three nine rounding at some point there now if you were to type this into your uh, scientific calculator you would use the caret key that's to the power of and then parentheses one sixth so just to be clear here that is an exponent the one sixth is an exponent so this caret key means to the power of now the result that you get would be 1.1977. So that equals 119.77% of the original. So that would mean a 19.77% increase, average annual increase. All right, in Excel. I've got the numbers already written down here, the 1.12 and, and so on. The formula is actually geomean. So you would type in equals geomean. But in case you forgot that, or you're doing this later and you forget this, you can always go to the function. So we insert function, and we're going to go down. We're in the statistical category of functions, and we go down. We, we just look for something that starts with a G. Ah, here's something that looks like it. Geo mean. See if that's right. Returns the geometric mean, it says. So that looks good to us. Geometric mean of what? And Excel automatically chooses. It, it tries to figure out what you're going to do. It says B1 to B7. However, however, we only have cells B1 through B6. So while this is highlighted, I'm going to choose B1 through B6 and then say OK. And I get that number that we had over here, that one point uh, or one point one nine seven seven so the average annual gain I'll say equals equals this cell minus one and I've already 
formatted this cell as a as a percent. So I I hit format cell and then as a percent to to make it look like that right away. By the way, this is an older version of Excel. It's actually Excel from Office XP so that everyone can can play along and if you have a, a later version absolutely these features are still there in similar locations they might be in just slightly different locations alright there's an example of the geometric mean